Hello and welcome to this video brought to you by Louis Art. My name is Emmanuel Locafo and in this video I will be showing you how you can apply your modifiers even when you have shape keys on it. So right now if we try to apply this, you can see we say it says modifier cannot be applied with um, to mesh with shape key. And that's understandable because if you apply it, it could mess up the whole system. So how can you do this? I have an add-on in this in the link of this video um, below. If you check it out, it's a free add-on. Um, this add-on makes it possible uh, for you to just apply modifier with shape key. Um, so we can see we have applied the subdivisions, and if we move this, it works, and it works great for lots of complex object. So even for boolean. So let's say we have this and we boolean this and we want to still preview the shape key so we can do apply with shape key and it works so it's a very powerful add-on um, which i'm giving out for free um, but for the rest of this video i will show you how to do it manually if you want to kind of learn how to do it yourself or at least the fundamentals of it um, so let's say we have this object we want to apply the shape key this um, Susan it has shape key I want to apply this so we we'll delete uh, duplicate this not delete so once we do, um, duplicate it we can hide the duplicate for a bit so if we get Susan so it doesn't matter if this is active or not but ensure when you're duplicating it um, so if this is active the duplicate has to be active too so we hide that so now we want to go to object convert convert to mesh so it has applied um, the shape um, the subdivision and the modifier so any modifier you have um, next what you want to do is go ahead and add a surface deform modifier and we'll select this object as the target um, next you want to go to this object we'll enable it for this um, part and add a triangulate modifier so the reason for this triangulate modifier is because of the surface deform modifier um, sometimes doesn't um, bind when you click on this bind and one way to kind of um, solve that is to apply triangulate the mesh and the triangulate modifier works great for that um, but for this situation since the mesh are pretty one to one there's um, very low chance it will not work but just in case if it's not working then you can use the triangulate modifier so once we have that we can go ahead and bind that so if we hide this for now so if we look we don't have any shape key so um, the first thing you want to do is select the one with shape key and we'll turn the shape key back to zero so once we put it back to zero we can come here and do save as shape key so um, what this does for us is if I disable the surface deform so now we can set this to one and it's um, kind of reset it back to the initial default state um, we'll copy this name and delete it because we want to make this the new base of the object so it's back to the default um, base shape and at this point we can enable the sub surface deform and now we can set this to one to this um, displace it and then we also save that so once you've done that you can go ahead and remove all of this so we've saved the shape key onto it while applying the subdivision so that's how you can do it it's pretty straightforward um, but yeah the free add-on makes it easy so that if you have like 50 shape keys that you have to transfer or if you um, basically want to work faster you just apply with shape key so the object has to have modifiers for it to work um, yeah so you can check it out in the download link um, it's on gum road also um, yeah I hope you guys are well I'll try to upload more I've not been uploading as usual 
um, kind of got really busy with work, but I think I, I'm in a place where I can multitask in uploading more tutorials and um, lots of awesome content. So bye bye for now. I'll see you guys next time.